Hello, what's up YouTube? In this video, I just want to show you how we have been misusing the eye and teeth whitening tool in Photoshop. So I oftentimes see so many people making the teeth and eyes look blue. So in the techniques that I've been showing you on, on this channel, basically we are trying to use our adjustment brush tool and playing around with the temperature slider. But usually this is kind of a destructive and if at all you're not very careful with this tool, you may tend to make the teeth look blue or look so much white and unnatural and very unrealistic. So in today's video, I want to show you the steps that you can use to get the most natural and highly realistic eye whitening in Photoshop and also in the camera raw filter for those that use the adjustment brush tool. So I want to show you the mistake we have been applying or the mistake I've been using when you're trying to do the eye whitening and how we are just going to correct that simply to get the most natural and highly realistic white eyes in Photoshop. So basically in the Photoshop interface we were just coming right here and we come to and create a curves adjustment layer and we simply brighten up that and now afterwards we come down here and we add a photo filter layer and we come to cooling filter 82. I just want you to look at this image right now. So as you're looking at this image, you can see that it tends to look cool or look blue in nature. And other times we come and we simply apply maybe a hue, saturation and luminous slider or layer and we just desaturate that layer. So oftentimes this, this can work for you, but when you do this, I want you to look at this image and we are going to group these layers. So when you do this, remember you added a cooling filter within, I've grouped everything. So remember we added a cooling filter. So I'm just going to hold down alternate and I click on the layer mask to invert everything. And I'm just going to get the brush tool white as the foreground and I'm going to zoom in and paint within the eyes and teeth to try and do what you have been calling as the eye whitening technique. So you can see this can look good and can look good depending on uh, the monitor that you're using to do the eye whitening. But in this case, if at all you're not very careful, you may be having or you may end up having blue eyes or blue teeth in the image. So you can see right now we are having that kind of blue bluish filter within our eye whitening brush so i'm just going to come and i do the same for the teeth and try to do the teeth whitening and you can see our teeth are going to look right now i'm just trying to be careful but there are people that tend to go overboard with this technique and you end up with blue teeth so just want to show if i told you i not be oh you're not careful and you don't have control over this technique. I just want to show you the other technique that is going to enable you have the most natural. You can see right now the teeth look a little bit blue in color if at all. Your monitor is calibrated. You can see the teeth and eyes are looking blue instead. You can see before and after. So I'm just going to turn this off and I repeat the same process. And I show you the most natural way for those that use Photoshop to do eye and teeth whitening. So basically we can just come and create our curves adjustment layer and simply brighten up the eyes just slightly. And after doing that, I'm just going to come and instead of creating a photo filter adjustment layer, I'm just going to come to the hue and saturation and I'm just going to desaturate the colors. Remember, when you're doing teeth whitening, we are just basically, or oh, when you're doing eye and teeth whitening, you're just trying to basically get rid of those other random colors in the white areas. And since I feel like this is going to be okay and enough for us, I'm just going to come and turn the saturation all the way down. And you can see right now the teeth and eyes are not looking blue. So you can just desaturate this and you can see it is going to be getting you the most natural and realistic eye and teeth whitening. So I'm just going to group this by selecting both and hitting Ctrl Command G on the keyboard and by holding down alternate key and clicking on the layer mask icon and I'm going to do that and create that and using a white brush 
I'm just going to zoom in and simply paint in the white areas. Remember, we're just whitening the eyes and simply not making them look blue in this case. So I'm just going to do this and paint within the eyes. And you can see the eyes are really natural and they are very real and they are not looking blue. So if at all we have been using that kind of photo filter adjustment layer within our eye and teeth whitening actions, I wouldn't recommend that. And I know I've also been using the same technique to do the eye and teeth whitening. So I want us to compare what looks real at the end of uh, this within Photoshop. Then we are going to go straight into Camera Raw and we see how we can find a way to work with the eye and teeth whitening in the Camera Raw filter so that we can have the most natural and highly realistic eyes and teeth in the Camera Raw filter. I'm just going to paint through the teeth just like that and you can see this is a more natural and non-destructive and right now you can even have control for your eye and teeth whitening if at all you don't have a calibrated screen or by calibrated screen I mean if at all your screen is not showing you the colors quite accurately so I just want us to compare the very first technique and what we have right now so look at this right now so this is our second technique and if at all you feel like this too much you can turn down the exposure or the opacity rather so let's compare this is our technique two with the nine photo filter and this is our technique one so i'm just going to type one so let's just see the difference this is the before and after for our second technique that doesn't involve a photo filter adjustment layer within our iron teeth whitening group and this is the one with the photo filter you can see right now the teeth look blue and very robotic and look at how natural this turns out to be or to look you can see with just the hue and saturation layer and just turning it down you are having the most natural eye and teeth whitening for just this very model. So let's just go straight into Camaro filter to look at the very second and the best technique that is for the adjustment brush tool. So I'm just going to create a copy out of uh, this layer and I come to filter. I come to the Camaro filter and I'm just going to do the same but this time around we are going to be using the adjustment brush. So just come to the adjustment brush tool and usually we have been playing with these colors right here or the temperature slider so we're just going to simply come to the highlights and simply brighten up the highlights to around 8 and you're going to do the same for the whites to around 8 and come all the way down to the saturation and we are basically going to turn down the saturation so I'm just going to turn down the saturation of the brush to around negative 72 is fine and after doing that, I'm just going to zoom in and start painting within. Remember, this brush is desaturated already. So meaning any color that may be existing in the white area of the eye is going to be eliminated. And you can see that it gives us a more natural eye whitening. You can see how that is really nice and very natural and realistic. You can see this. So just look at how nice and natural this is looking right now. So I'm just going to come back here and I'm going to do the same right there. I'm just going to paint in the white area just like that. And you can see the eye is really looking naturally white and it is not looking blue in this case. You can just do that and paint within that. And you come to the teeth and also do the teeth whitening by just painting using our adjustment brush to remember it is a desaturated brush meaning any color is going to be desaturated and removed from the areas we just want to whiten and that is going to be a more effective way to do as eye and teeth whitening. let me just zoom out and i show you what we have you can see how natural the eyes have turned out to look you can see the before and after before after and if at all you feel like that is a little bit intense, you can just come and simply turn up the saturation slightly for your 
adjustment brush tool and that's the before and after before after and remember usually we have just been adding a cooling filter within our brush and we simply take up this but oftentimes if at all you're not careful it may end up making the eyes and teeth look blue in color because I know some people who take this all the way down and you tend to have more bluish teeth so make sure you don't play around with this if at all you want the base a natural and highly realistic eye and teeth whitening in Photoshop so these are basically the best ways so make sure you don't play around with any temperature slider of the image if at all you are in Photoshop itself and if at all you are in camera roll don't play around with the temperature and the tint of the image just come and brighten up the highlights and the whites and simply desaturate your brush and start painting through and if at all you are in Photoshop just make sure you don't apply this photo filter or that cooling filter because it's going to be adding a bluish feel meaning when you start painting within the eyes and teeth it is going to make them look blue and you can see this is a more natural result uh, than this you can see how blue this has turned out to look and how unnatural that has turned out to look so basically this is not what we are meant to do when it comes to eye and teeth whitening and this is what we have to do to have the most natural results as it in regards to eye and teeth whitening so this is all for this video and if at all you found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and not subscribe this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching i see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.